and whoa there, I am so far, and welcome back to more Pokey Park Adventures, we, oh, I did, I did, I said it right this time, okay, my pen's weird again, I don't know what Joe's doing, because he's the one that makes the thumbnails and not I, he's weird, always changing my fudging pen, anyways, uh, yeah, welcome back to more. Uh, last time we got Charmander back, and now we gotta do, uh, the spooky zone. So we go into the spooky, spooky, spooky zone. Um, more drift bumps stop. And if you do this one, and you talk to a lot of drift, bump, drift bumps, now your friend! Homie. That's cool. Uh... So, there's not much in the courthouse, the courthouse part of the spooky zone. Basically, it's the outside of the house. Uh, you can't go in because the, the, the dude, so like, you have to beat Tangrove's thing. So get some friends, there's not that many out here. Uh, talk to Tangrev. His challenge is just like a Venusaur's one, where you gotta swing on a vine, but then you have to catch another vine, and then another one, and then another one, and then you win. It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard, but it's also not that bad, so you complete it, and you get a nice sky stone. do 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 Oh, man. Now we can go in. And then our person's all like, Greetings, I'm Duskull. I have one eye. Well, hi, Duskull. I'm here and I'm your, our 1,000th customer to enter our home. That's neat. Anyways, I'll show you to your place. Ghastly should be there. Anyways, to go around, there's a attraction sign, but no attraction duder. There's some dudes that you can get, like, um, Espeon and, uh, Umbreon. I would recommend Espeon. You get, it's not that bad. Um, when you're in that room, you can... If you have a lot of friends, Gengar will become your friend. Well, no, he'll come out of the painting to become your friend. You gotta fight him first. Then he'll become your friend. Also, Ghastly can become your friend if you chase him. And Taunter. They're both not that bad. Anyways, um... Once the bell rings, you can now talk to... The dusk, Dusky Noir, and he's all like, Yes, you can do my challenge. It's just like Bulbasaur's one, except instead of just shaking the Wii remote, sometimes you might have to press two. No, wait. No, no, it's still shaking the Wii remote, except there's just walls in the way. I actually find this one easier than Bulbasaur's game, which is kind of weird. But anyways, you beat it, get a sky, sco- st- sky stone, and then you can go into the ballroom. And, um, Miss Shrevis is there, and she's all like, Our piano's not working! C- can you help get some strength for the piano to work? And you're all like, yeah, I guess I could. Also, Pichu's there, and he's basically the leader of all these ghosts. But they say Rotom's the real, re- the real, the real leader, but no one has ever seen him in, like, two days. He's probably dead, even though he's a ghost. So Desk, so Desk Skull opens the other doors so you can find a few more friends, like a Breloom. He's there. There's a few friends that you had to play hide-and-seek with. And there's just a guy that you can just talk to, and then he's your friend, which is an Abra. 
And it's like, Abra, I want to be friends. Yes. Okay. Anyways, you find Spinarak, and he's all like, Okay, we'll make the string. Blag. Oh, thanks. Now you can fix the wire. Now you can fix that piano. So you go all the way to go fix the piano because they want Miss Magius to go out and dance. Because they like her. And she might know where Rotom is. So you get the piano working and Miss Magius comes out of the library like, ooh, is that the piano? And then you talk to her and she's all like, okay, come here. I know what's going to happen if you don't collect all those sky stones. Here's the lore detail. So basically the sky is going to fall and it's going to kill every Pokemon in Poke Park. The reason why is because every Pokemon... Oh, all the Pokemon have been kind of just being kind of jerks to each other. And if they keep on fighting, the sky is going to go down straight on our heads and kill us all. But if we're not fudging jerks to each other, then the sky won't fall on us and won't kill us. So you got to make as many friends as you can. Oh, okay. Wow, that's a lore detail. So, we go into the library to find Rotom, because apparently he was there last. Uh, Sableye's there, and he has a book called Secret Passageways, and he's like, this is a really cool book. And to get that book, book you have to do a little quiz it's not that bad put the book in the bookcase and it moves and go into a secret pathway and Rotom's there Rotom hello I'm Rotom I'm here I have a game that we're gonna play (laughs) ha 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 it's called shoot them. So basically, it's you get a crosshair, and you gotta shoot all the ghost Pokemon. It's really easy. Anyways, after you're done that, he's all he's all like, "Here's the sky stone." I guess the next zone you will be going to is the granite zone. Okay. So we leave, and then we go talk to our friends about, yeah, by the way, we're all going to die if we don't do this crap. And they're all like, well, I guess that means we have even more incentive to go see Mew. To first bring us back home and save the world. So the next zone is Granite Zone, which is... Definitely his own. So until next time.